Hi there, Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival, and today I have a look in my EDC bag. It's an EDC slash get home pack because it's my everyday carry bag that I carry with me everywhere I go, and it's kind of geared toward getting me home from wherever I find myself, and um, I'm a local truck driver, so I put all that in the, in the video. So you can see me uh, at work and my work clothes and stuff and I even have I realized I didn't take my um, face mask off it's just hanging out of my ear like a dummy and uh, there was a couple of things that I didn't show you in the pack so I'll show you real quick it's um, what is that LA police gear um, satchel type of thing and it has a concealed carry pocket and I don't I don't carry a handgun in there uh, I believe if you're going to carry, just carry. You know, I, my personal opinion. I don't think it would would do me much good in that pack, um, sitting in my car or my truck. Anyway, so inside that EDC or concealed carry pouch or whatever it is, it's like it's pretty hard to see. That's the whole point of it. That's why I overlooked it. I have a life straw, which I probably won't put back in there because um, I had that survival hacks. Um, water bottle filter and that should be fine and then a SE4 fixed blade knife and also um, I know this might come up in the comments so I do carry some cash with me not a lot so don't try to hunt me down um, but I do carry some cash because well that can sometimes get you home right and uh, that's pretty much it all right I'm with the show Hey there, Brian Hawkins, Next Step Survival, and I was just told by a customer that I have about a half an hour wait before I can get unloaded, and I thought, why not do a, student, a random impulse video? So what I think I'm going to do is grab my EDC bag and just show you what's inside. So first I'll show you my lunch pail, all right? So there's not a lot of room. I'm in the cab of my truck here, so, so sorry. But And I just showed my ID, so don't look at that. Actually, it doesn't say anything on it, but um, it's, it's it's my old range bag. So I upgraded my range bag. There's a video somewhere on my channel going over that. So I I took my old range bag and turned it into a lunch pail. And here's my lunch. This is chicken. I uh, I dispatched this chicken myself, plucked it, cooked it out on an open fire out in the woods. It's leftover KFC. Anyway, so, um, just real quick, just not a lot of survival type things in here. I have an extra N95 mask, which should be in a baggie. I don't know why it's not. And just lunch stuff, right? I think. Plenty of snacks. In case I forget a fork or a spoon, I got my little titanium uh, light my fire spork spoon thing. And... extra pair of glasses sometimes you got to drive home if you even break your glasses more snacks plenty of uh, protein bars and that stuff uh, I don't bore you with all of that but there's plenty to eat in case I get hungry and my KFC chicken isn't uh, holding up for the whole 10 to 12 hours that I stay out here keys uh, some hand sanitizer uh, sunglasses, prescription, and that's it for that bag. So I just thought I'd throw that up there. Real quick in my pockets. A knife, this one here, CRKT, little pocket knife. Flashlight, Streamlight Micro Stream. It actually holds up pretty good. I use it all day long. Or every day, not all day long, but and it charges with the USB, so I'm not replacing batteries and stuff. What do we got in this pocket here? COVID key. I wouldn't waste my money on that, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, it's unnecessary. Um, Carmex, ink pen, big lighter. I don't smoke, but I've been carrying a lighter in my pocket for a decade now. 
and the regular stuff uh, to these pockets. Just wallet. I'm not going to drag all that out. I'm not interested in that. Set this down before I end up losing it. So this is my EDC bag. And every time I show my EDC bags, I always get characters saying, do you really carry that every day? Well, as a matter of fact, Kyle, I do. I carry it everywhere I go, every single day. And I have more gear, not in this truck, but in the truck I drive to work. So yeah, Kyle, I, I actually carry it every day. And look how look how heavy it is. It's, it's so awkward. Uh, it's amazing. Anyway, so this has um, more hand sanitizer. This is a, I wish I had more room in this truck. I just don't remember what brand this is. Oh, Survival, Survival Hacks um, filter for water. I actually have a whole case of water on the floor there. And there's water in my lunch pail. I drink water all day long. Just bottled water. But if I needed to walk home for whatever reason, I can filter water. By the way, I'm about 12 miles from home. I'm always within, say, 22, 23 miles from home. Um, a Nebo rechargeable flashlight. These are on the outside pockets here. This bag is uh, LA police gear. It went on sale, I don't know, maybe for Black Friday last year or something. And that's when I incorporated this into it. This pocket here, I just have. All right, um, Glock, Mag, and uh, little emergency whistle thing. Honestly, I don't see myself needing that in my particular situation, but I it keeps it keeps everything from moving around in there. In that little pocket. If I get this little thing out of here, it doesn't really fit well in this little pocket, but with those little water things for urban survival or whatever, water sill pockets, as it's called. And then this little pocket here, I've got little earplugs. I have all that safety stuff too. I'm wearing my vest. It's got safety glasses, earplugs hard hat because who doesn't carry a hard hat to work right um let's see what's in here this is just an extra wallet i carry a i'm not good with this word so let me try it minimalist wallet by travex and uh that's just stuff i use every day it's things that i wouldn't use every day i just throw in here along with keys that's all it's in that thing so again this is an everyday carry bag it's not necessarily a survival pack. It's definitely not a bug out bag. Um, highlighter and Sharpie. And I think that's it for the outside. One more side in here. What's in here? Oh, tourniquet. Uh, compression gauze. Just right on the end there, in case you got to grab it real quick. I don't keep that all wrapped up. It's all ready to go. So but with one hand, you can technically or su supposedly uh, stop some bleeding. All right, and then some gloves. These are pretty cool gloves. I put that on uh, um, Instagram once while I was punching in the side of my trailer. It's amazing how hard you can hit with those hard things right there but just screw around in there this is a I got a I've got a definitely I have a blog post I don't know if I've got a video on these these um, charge kits that I put together I've got a bunch of them I keep one in every bag every vehicle but all it is is everything you need to charge your phones so I have the, the, the charge cords I have the, uh, you know, the, the plug-ins, the fast charge, and the 12-volt uh, for a vehicle. 
And then in this one here, in this particular setup, I have... I'm trying to hurry up before they come knocking on my door. An anchor. I don't remember which one it is. PD and IQ charge. I think it's, I think it's dual input. Um, so I can fast charge the charger as well. Set that aside. Inside this, what is this, Husky or something? Yeah, Husky. Grab that at Walmart. No, at Walmart. Um, Home Depot. Headlamp. Rechargeable. I think that's rechargeable. Some cordage. That's bank line. Um, I've got a video somewhere on my channel where this thing almost saved my life. Not really, but it was so convenient. I got stuck out in on a hike several years ago. It was just pouring down rain. I mean, everything was soaking wet. And it was cold, and I set up a, a quick uh, tarp and hammock set. Set up, I think it was. Anyway, when I hike, I usually use tarp and hammock. At one point, I used a tent, so I don't know when, which time it was. But anyway, I took one of these little zip things and lit it on fire and got wet wood going. I mean, in a few minutes, I had this raging fire. <laughs> it was crackling and smoking like crazy because everything was wet, but it it really warmed things up and got me dried up. And then I got this little dry sack here with uh, masks. Okay, so surgical mask and homemade mask from some place and some nitro gloves and some more gloves. So this is the world we live in now. It's amazing that the PPEs become so important. And uh, that's all that's in that little thing there. Uh, my little food kit, I put these things together all the time. It's in a heavy duty Ziploc bag or I don't think it, the brand is Ziploc, but it's it's got, I don't even know how many calories, it's pretty dense. Like I said, I'm a day's walk or day's hike from, from home. That, That'd get me just fine. I'm pretty sure I got have an old video on the channel as well on this. These are survival kits. This is a, like my EDC survival kit. I love putting kits together because it's fun. Who wouldn't like that, right? So I'm not really gonna since it's already on the channel. I'm not gonna like go through the whole thing but you can see all this is is an electronic organizer and it's got a pin uh, a, a tiny little fire starter I uh, Kim light this doesn't feel right oh that's good some batteries in a case so it's one double a four triple a's some uh, gorilla tape wrapped up into a little tube little bitty uh, screwdriver micro screwdriver good for fixing your glasses or whatever you need a little bit more cordage got some uh, Is this one is this the what no that's a shoelace for my boots because I've actually broke one before this one here I'm not sure if this is the one with the uh, I burned the ends of it so I'm not sure but I have some with the uh, fire starting cord in there and I'm not sure if that's what I and then I have this takes three triple A's and replaces what is it the eight what is it 18 I don't I forgot the battery in here but anyway the for this flashlight so you can take that eight, is it 18 650 I don't remember I'm bad with numbers whatever that big old long chargeable battery is in here the, the big honking battery you can replace that if that dies with those batteries another big lighter more chapstick, which I feel like I need right now. 
one more little AAA. So I have that headlamp as well. I wrap that up in a little plastic so it doesn't you know short out on something. Um, fingernail and toenail clippers. These really come in handy for a lot of different things. Here's the batteries. So it was yeah 18650. I was right. Those are charged and ready to go. Um, a little pill case with um, ibuprofen and that type of things in there. A little cheap knife. Those are starting to load here, huh? And um, this is all in that kit. Aqua tabs, water purification, a little compass, a little emergency rain poncho tent thing, bandana. Got to get some water before you throw it in your filter. You can uh, filter it out. A little redundancy in a overkill, actually. Some aqua, more aqua tabs. So I take one of those out and throw it in another kit. More redundancy. This is just duct tape. A little mirror, a little spot mirror. Good for signaling. Um, and the last thing is this uh, backtrack GPS. I used to carry a, uh, well I still have it, but an expensive little um, hiker's GPS and I found this is so much easier. Um, it's marked for my house right now so I can turn this on, a little arrow will show pointing to my house, you know, tell me which direction to follow. And uh, if I needed to leave wherever I'm at, so if I wanted to leave right now I would just mark this spot, I think you can mark up to three places with this, I could mark this spot go off into wherever and this would bring me back and it works good it hasn't failed me I've done it. I used to do a lot of hiking that's it for that first aid kit um, I don't know that I need to go through that because I'm sure you've seen a million first aid kits it's stuffed pretty full it's uh, it's another survival hacks first aid kit but I've upgraded it with more stuff that I just felt that was important. Um, um, contractor trash can liner. Another, um, it says urban, urban survival gear, emergency survival tent. Probably wouldn't need that, but you never know. And then some cordage for that. This is a trauma kit. I zip, I, I, I have like, I have the compression bandage in the tourniquet on the side so I can grab that real quick. But this is, I, I think I might have a video on this as well, but clotting gauze, uh, s roll s gauze, or s roll gauze, um, petroleum strips. It's got the, it's, it's, it's pretty detailed, but anyway, trauma kit. And that's it, I think. So as you can see, it's not it's not that uh, involved. I can carry it wherever I want. It's not difficult to carry. I throw it in the back of my car when I leave. If in the winter time, in a, you know, in in decent weather like we're having today, it wouldn't even leave my the back of my car, or my truck, whichever. And wherever I go, that bag goes. So if I whatever vehicle I'm in that's in there. Um, when I park my truck out, my pickup, and get into my truck, I just carry it and toss it in here with my lunch pill, and we're good to go. It's not like I'm walking around with it over my shoulder all day. It's not strapped to my back. And that's pretty much it. And uh, like I said, I carry a case of water in here. I'm not going to lift that up and show you, but a little extra food. I have another um, survival pack and first aid kit that stays in this truck because this is i don't own this truck but this is my assigned vehicle so I'm, i get the same vehicle every day and that's about it i'm gonna go in and try to get unloaded i hope that uh um helped you a little bit maybe you have some ideas of your own things that you carry things that you think i shouldn't be carrying keep that to yourself but if it if um things that you think that you should carry feel free to drop a comment i'd love to hear it um 
every, everybody's situation is different, right? So maybe you're three miles from work, maybe you work from home. <laughs> everybody carries their own EDC and it's what I carry is not necessarily what you should carry and vice versa. So that's all I'm getting at. All right. Brian Hawkins, next tip survival. Have a good day. Bye now.